In this video, we're going to take the screen space health bar that we made previously and change it to work in the world space so it follows our player along, just like in the video here. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe and you'll get updates for future videos. Let's jump right into this. So here we have the project from the last video. If you didn't do the last video, you can either just download the project below from the link to GitHub, or you can follow the link and check out the last video and also include the completed project of this video. So you can just download that if you wanna see the final result. Currently, all that we have here is a health bar and a radial health bar for stamina that links to our player, and the player is just a simple capsule. There's no actual controls on it yet. Let's hop into the player controller script and just make some very basic and simple movement controls for the player, just for this demonstration. So I'm just gonna do transform.translate and then for the X, I'm just going to do input.getAccessHorizontal. And then for the Y, we don't want to change anything, so 0. And then for the Z, I'm going to do input.getAccessVertical. And then this way, we can just use controller or arrow key or WASD input controls and just move our player around a bit. I'm also going to make a serialized speed variable. And then that way, we can just change the speed of the player in the inspector. And I'm going to multiply the x and the z input axis by move speed times time dot delta time. So this isn't an ideal player movement method whatsoever. This is just something quick for the demonstration of this video. So you can do something like this to just test things around, but you'd probably want to make a more advanced player controller if this was a real game. Now if we run the game, the movement is working. I'm just going to change the camera to be a bit more of a top-down angled view. So if we stop the game, move around in our scene to something we like, and then if you select the camera and just hit Control shift f that's going to align the camera with the current view, and this is what you're going to see in the game view now if you run it again. Looks like we're actually looking at the player backwards, so if we just rotate the camera around to the other side of the player, select the camera, hit Control shift f again, and now if we run it, we're going to be looking straight where when we press W, it moves up and everything should be working good now. Now to move our canvas into the world space, if we select the canvas and look at it, we see the render mode is actually set to screen space overlay. So what this means is this is an overlay over what the camera sees. So after it renders the camera view, it's gonna put this canvas over top of that screen. Let's change that to world space. And now the canvas is actually in the game, not over top of the camera. So if we select the canvas and hit F to focus on it, we can see it's huge now and taking up a lot of the game. So we need to scale this down a lot. So let's select the canvas and press R for the scale tool and then keep scaling it down until it's very small. And let's also set the position to zero, zero. So it's right at our player. You can hit F again to focus back on the canvas. Now let's just scale it a little bit more to get it to the size we actually want it to be. This should be good about here. So now what I'm going to do is select the health bar and then press T on the keyboard for this rec tool. And now we can just move this health bar over to our player and position it where we want it to be, just above them. Now for the mana wheel, I'm just going to move it to the left of the health bar. Now select your canvas and let's drag it down to the player and make it a child of the player. And this way that canvas is going to follow the player everywhere he moves now. So if we run the game and we start moving around, that canvas is following him. Our space and C key still work to remove health and stamina, so you can see that working. But you notice the health bar stays in the same direction above the player. It doesn't actually face the camera. So let's fix that next. Now whenever we're doing things related to the camera, we want to use a method called late update. So late update will actually run after update and fixed update, if you're using any physics, are completed. The reason we want to use late update is this will run after all the movement of your game has taken place on that frame. If we didn't do it here, what can happen is we could move the health bar before the camera moves. So it's going to be facing the old camera position, not the current one. So we always want to do do these changes at the very end to make sure the cameras are ready in place. What we want late update to actually do is to tell our canvas to look at the camera. So the first thing we got to get a reference to our canvas. 
So I'm going to make a serialized field and we'll make a private transform and I'm going to call it canvas transform. Now let's just go back into Unity and drag in the canvas into this field on our player controller script. Now in late update, we can type in canvas transform and any transform has a method built right into it called look at. So if we do dot look at, this method lets the, the current transform point at another transform. So if we look at it here, it wants a transform target. And all we have to do is tell it the transform of the target to look at. Now for the camera to find that Unity actually has that built right in to help us find the camera. So we can actually do camera with a capital C dot main. And this is going to find the main camera in our scene. So then we just do dot transform and that's it. So now it's going to tell the canvas to look at the camera dot main dot transform. So to show how this camera dot main actually works, let's go back into unity and this should work by default. But if it doesn't, here's how you can check it. Select your main camera and look for the tag. The default tag should be main camera. So as long as this is main camera, it's going to work fine. If it's set to unassigned or anything else, just change this back to main camera. And then using camera.main, we'll find this camera when we run that code. So if we run our game now, you see the health bar is actually looking at the camera. But one thing you're going to notice is it's backwards. So the reason this is happening is because the, the health bar and the whole canvas is looking directly at the camera. So the forward direction is facing the camera. We need to actually change that a bit. We want it to look in the same direction as the camera, not directly at it. So an example, think of two people. If they're looking directly at each other, they're, they're not looking in the same direction at the same target. You want both people to be facing the same direction. And that's how we want this to work. So how we fix this is in this line of code here, what we want to do is we want to actually take our current transform.position and what we want to do is add onto it still our camera.main.transform, but we want the transform.forward. So all this is doing is taking the direction that the camera is looking, its forward direction, and we're adding that direction to our current transform.position. And this is going to make your, your canvas look in the exact same direction that the camera is looking. So let's go test this out now. And we see the canvas is looking in the correct direction and everything's working. So that should get you going on using world space canvases. And at least now that you have the basics, the rest you should be able to kind of experiment on and set up anything you want on a world canvas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.